keep it in your purse, your briefcase, um, gentlemen, keep it in your pocket, and start to track where you spend the money. I can guarantee you it will open up your eyes. Have any of you ever uh, been a member of Weight Watchers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, okay. Okay. Even though you were getting your own equity back, it's a reverse mortgage. All right. That's $6,000 to begin with before you start talking about the other kinds of carrying costs that you pay on a yearly basis. So if you are taking out a sum... The account with them, say, for five years. Mm -hmm. Most creditors will review your credit file um, quarterly basis, especially credit card, bank cards, MasterCards, mm -hmm. Visas. Um, some of them will do it monthly. In the past, um, one of the things that they were monitoring it for, they want to see how you're performing. You may be paying Capital One, so they all they know at that point. Saying, go ahead and make all the money you want, but you promised me what? And they're in, I think we're in the, we're in the same, same agreement. And this is a, do I have time to tell a little bit? You've got 30 seconds. <laughs> Why? 78 years old, came to me and said, I don't understand what happened to my money. Mm -hmm. A retired teacher out of Baltimore, she had a, a stock account, mutual funds, etc., over 200. Adrian, no, it's 66. If you apply before full retirement age, you get, and Social Security doesn't like me to use this word, but you get penalized. And you get a reduction in your benefits. And your reduction stays with you for your entire life. It does not go away. It's like almost like that scarlet letter. <laughs>
with products. I was a product safety counsel for Consumers Union, actually right in Washington, D.C. And one of the great things that we were able to do there is, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of the phenomenon of kids getting backed over and hit by cars that you can't see in back of you. But we took that issue on and used the magazine and the families who had, had terrible um, accidents happen with kids because when you look in, in, in your rear view mirror, your side mirrors, and you see absolutely nothing in back of you, and a kid has run out, there is no path, and leave a trail. Thank you very, very much. Part of what I'm going to talk about this afternoon is really helping you get clear about why you're here. And so as I inspire women, it's really around my writing, around my speaking, and around my coaching. And one of the things I do to just view that they had something, right? And so the third way that money can make us happy, and I love this one, is if we use it to bless somebody else. And so they've done studies. If you get like a little windfall and you decide to go shopping and you buy something you really want, or if you take that same, like that moose. Now, I don't recommend you try this when you see a real moose, okay? But when your fears come, I want you to look at those fears and I want you to speak to them. Because very often, y'all probably heard the, the phrase false evidence appearing real. Very often our fears are just like that. We fear the worst possible scenario that might happen, right? And so I want you to think of it like this. When I wrote what's really holding you back, I said there were four things that we have to make sure we control all thing, right? And within like 10 seconds, we go from zero to 60 on that small thing. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. Any moms up here? We got a few moms up here, okay? And if you are a mom, you've got a child. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so I'm just, we're gonna use this as just a, a slight example, but you can apply it to anything right now that you tend to worry about. What we tend to have is a trigger. So a trigger is some challenge, some piece of stress. She's out there by herself dead. What happens next? You've got to find her. But you know what? You're probably not going to find her. You know why? Because she's off in a ravine somewhere. They're not going to find that car for weeks. Are they, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> you can see Janet's face. She's like, yes. You're right. That's exactly what I was about. It's spinning out of control. And, and so what they're going to do now is not only the police coming out, but you know what, Frederick County is fairly small. They're going to send out the news crew. You know what, I saw some reporters here earlier. They're going to come out, and they're going to say, where are the parents? Did the parents not know where the child was at? Did they not know? She only had her driver's license for a month. She shouldn't have been out there by herself. And so now you're the poster child. You're on the slut stage. You don't get nervous about that because you realize you're just giving of yourself. I want you to really begin focusing on how do I... Sir, I can't remember, we met earlier, I don't remember your name, but introduced, um, what's your name again? Sally. Sally. When Sally stood up here and began talking about being a consumer advocate, I love the story that Sally told us about the, the children that, have, you know, had been backed over, had been killed, had been injured. And you know, notice things as they're happening. We get too frustrated as things are happening. We stop asking ourselves, oh my goodness, what was the best thing that happened this week? Was there something for me? to be grateful for. Was there something? When I wrote what's really holding me back, one of the things that I did is I wrote out a list of all the different negative emotions that we have. We have a lot of different negative emotions, but one of the things that I found is if you're going to enjoy your journey, you won't let your negative emotions just take over. So I'm going to help with that. I tried to capture some thoughts as we went through the day, and it's so important, I think, that we all say thank you. Thank you to the do me a favor, turn to the person who's next to you and thank them for coming. And here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to turn to that person. And I'm going to make it culturally appropriate to talk about money. To my mother, to my daughter, to my spouse, to But I'm going to make it okay. I'm going to raise the level. 